I am demoing my 6502 contraption here. I've got a Arduino Mega. I'm not using the Arduino tools whatsoever. I just needed a microcontroller with a bunch of pins on it. It's uh, essentially a RAM chip. Right there. 64K. Sixty five oh two. This is my output device, eight LEDs. So when you reset the machine, I've got it connected through a serial port over here. Um, this gives me a little bit of a terminal to see what it's doing. So the first thing it does when you reset is it zeroes out the RAM. This will blink red and then just for a moment and then it'll stay a steady red. And what we're looking at here are the lower 8 bits or the lower byte of the 16-bit address bus. So if you look really carefully, you can see it flashing as it zeroes out its RAM. And so now I reset the machine. It's just sitting there in a, wet, in a waiting state. Um, so here I'm going to run the Python bootloader. Oh, and you can see over here that it's giving me, every time I reset the machine, it's giving me a helpful little reminder of what it's doing. So, reset it one more time. Yes, we look good. Here goes the bootloader. Now you see that this is flashing red and green, indicating bootloader is loading. Um, probably not a great idea to leave that LED bar plugged in while it's actually moving data around, but so far it hasn't corrupted anything too badly. Um, it's done. It just moved over 65k of data. Um, press reset on the 6502. It's in a very bad place. So then I go over here and turn on my clock signal and you can see now it's in a free run, meaning it's, I filled its memory space with add its uh, no op commands and it's just walking through its little memory range doing nothing but the stacking there indicates that it's counting in binary on the lower 8 bytes of the address. So it's merrily walking along doing nothing. So a whole lot of work to do nothing. But it works. And there's quite a bit of rat's nest wiring underneath this board. I use 30 gauge wire. So there it is. A virtual ROM 6502 computer.